Hi, this is Kelly from Roll the World, and today we are in Tomorrowland at Walt Disney World. We are on our way to the People Mover, one of the best places to go to get a little bit of rest. So where do I go if I transfer into a wheelchair? Is there an elevator? Um, the, only way, the only way you can go on in the elevator, and it's not a wheelchair, is, is over there with Astro. I was very tired and cranky and I wasn't communicating very well. I think this cast member thought that I was wanting to ride Astro Orbiter. Um, okay, so the gentleman over there directed us to you for the people mover when with my wheelchair walk we should have gone over to the Astro Orbiter elevator. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, no, this that's a different ride though. This is the people mover. Okay, so if I'm handicapped yeah. and I'm bound in a wheelchair, how do I get to ride the people mover? The people in front, you have to lift you up, honestly. That's like, all you, all you have to do is like hold you for like a couple seconds and then like you go there, you go straight on the ride. So do you allow manual wheelchairs on the ramp? No, kind of wheelchairs, no. <laughs> so, so somebody has to be supported yeah. and yeah. carried up? Yeah. Only wow. crutches and keys. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of dangerous though, honestly. It's kind of dangerous to have a wheelchair go. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. That interaction was the perfect example for why I am actually um, starting this YouTube channel. Um, it can be very difficult sometimes figuring out where you need to go for handicap access in theme parks. So. The only way to get on the people mover, if you are wheelchair bound, is to have somebody carry you up the ramp. There is no elevator. Uh, only canes and crutches are allowed on the moving walkway. So this is a continuous load ride, which means it does not ever stop. And it's not like the Haunted Mansion where they can stop the belt to let you load. Are you able to stop the moving walkway for those with disabilities? Okay. I'll be fine, but I just need to know. Yeah, I can get my friend to assist you if you would like. No, I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, how many in total? Three. The nice thing about this ride vehicle is that it's bench seating for those of Mr. Incredible or Baymax size. There are no restraint devices, no seat belts to worry about. The seats are pretty comfy. What are you ready for your belt? So what, Grant, Grant. Oh. These are the uh, people mover isn't really handicap accessible. I don't think you're going to be able to hear me. Just talk loudly. Stay clear of the doors. Go! Open and close automatically. Uh, well, it is sort of an escalator up, and so they don't allow, there aren't any stairs, it's a bell. A belt ramp. ramp. So why is it so what are the other um uh, They are unable to stop the people mover to allow you to transfer it into the ride car. Along the way, we can bring you many of the exciting places you want to be sure to enjoy today while visiting this land of tomorrow. The people you know is the perfect angle for people watching. So keep your eyes peeled. You never know who you might see. Stitch's great escape is no more. The castle! One of the great 
uh, things about riding the people movers, you get really, really good views of the park. And you get to sit and rest. to relax, get out of the sun. Um, one of my favorite parts is the dark ride through Space Mountain where you can give your eyes a rest and get a blast of cool air. speed gets up to six miles per hour. It takes about 10 minutes to ride. Um, if your family wants to ride Space Mountain but you aren't feeling up to it, this oh, is a good place to go. Rainbow, rainbow. We just happen to see a rainbow. If Space Mountain is down, um, a lot of times they'll have the lights on and you can actually get a look at the track, which is pretty cool. Um, for those of you that have little ones with sensory issues, this ride through Space Mountain is pretty dark. So if I'm not feeling like being jostled around on Space Mountain, this is a good place for me to go. I can ride it a few times and uh, just sit and rest while I'm waiting for the rest of my family to get done with Space Mountain. Okay, see some asteroids. That air conditioning feels so nice. Unfortunately, our camera does not pick up much of the um, projections of Space Mountain. We can see like the shooting stars and meteors. Space Mountain itself is a pretty old track and it's very bumpy. And so if I'm having a high pain day, it can just be too much for me to handle. actually had imagined this perfect city and he had planned to use the people mover as actual transportation. For a different high-flying adventure, hop on board the Astro Orbiter. Hop in your own space as you take a spin around the planet and ascend to other world behind. It's one of the trick-or-treat trails. We're now going 
rarely ever a wait for the people mover. Uh, wait times are generally less than five minutes. We pretty much walked on this. This time it's laughter thereafter at Must is Incorporated. So drop in and join Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Must is Incorporated platform. Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor is also another really good place to go if you need some air conditioning and a bit of rest. So the fun part comes when you actually have to get up and get off the ride and walking on that belt can make me kind of dizzy. But that's why I have my husband to hold on to. The moving walkway goes at a speed of about 0.8 miles per hour. someone carry you. That's been it for this roll through. Um, until next time, don't waste those spoons. <laughs>